wishes of a wonderful day to one and all. I, Sindhu Pia of class 11 from Rajagiri Jeeva Semai Central School, would like to talk to you about artificial intelligence. Since the invention of computers or machines, their capability to perform various activities went on growing exponentially. While exploiting the power of computer systems, the curiosity of man led him to wonder, can a machine think or behave like a human does? Thus, the development of artificial intelligence started with the aim of attaining intelligence in machines that we can find and regard high in humans. So what exactly is artificial intelligence? According to the father of artificial intelligence, John McCarthy, it is the science and engineering of developing intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. Artificial intelligence is based on the principles of computer science, mathematics, linguistics, biology, psychology, and engineering. Artificial intelligence in use today is more properly known as narrow artificial intelligence or weak artificial intelligence, in which it is only used to perform a narrow task. For example, if you are using a smart assistant, whether it's Google, Alexa, Siri, or Bixi, you more or less know that these assistants are based on artificial intelligence. Another thing is that if you are using social media, one thing that you should be remembering is that from the feeds that you see on your timeline to the notifications that you get from these apps, everything is curated by artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is used in video gaming, music and media streaming services, and so on. But the long-term goal of most researchers remains to be the attainment of strong artificial intelligence. Narrow artificial intelligence might outperform humans in their specific tasks like solving an equation or playing chess, but strong artificial intelligence might outperform humans in every possible way. The main question is, what would happen if the quest for strong artificial intelligence succeeds and an artificial intelligence system might outperform humans in every cognitive task. Such a system might undergo self-improvement, causing an intelligent explosion and thus leaving human intellect far behind. But a good way of looking at artificial intelligence is that by the development of revolutionary new technologies, artificial intelligence might help us eradicate war, poverty and disease and thus it can be the biggest event in human history. I would like to conclude by quoting Stephen Hawking, one of the greatest cosmologists history has ever seen. The full development of artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Thank you.